I'm Greg Hunter. Welcome to USAWatchdog.com. With us, a guy I've been wanting to have on for a while. He has a bunch of new dates for you to be on the lookout for uh, and some actually good news about uh, what's coming down the pipe. It's not all doom and gloom. Uh, it is Bo Pony. He is an analyst of time. He's made some freakishly good uh, predictions uh, here on USA Watchdog and uh, happy to have him back to let us know, you know, what's uh, what he sees coming down in 2023 and beyond. Bo Pony, thanks for joining us today on USAWatchdog.com. What's going on with Europe in this crazy war that's wrecking uh, Europe, at least the finances of, of Europe, and maybe it'll wreck Europe what, with uh, Ukraine? What's going on? What do you see coming uh, overseas? What do you see coming? I've stated this before, and I'm going to state it again. We are in end times, okay? We're not in the end. We're just in the beginning of it, okay? It's called the time of Soros. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, you bring up the money system, okay? The money, the money, the money. You know, the Bible's very clear. You know, the love of money is a root of all evil. So what have they done with the money, Greg? They've used it to enslave humanity. You realize like the money system that we use. In the 70s, we were always talked about millions. You know, millionaires was a big deal. So if you actually had to count, you know, one, two, three, and you count it to a million, it would take you 12 days. So this is a great place to start. If you count it to a billion, Greg, it would take you 31 years. But we don't talk about millions or billions anymore, right? What do we talk about? Trillions. Do you realize to, if you had to count to a trillion, Greg, it would take you 31,000 years. The point I'm making is that the money system that we are living in, that we are that we are used to, we're accustomed to, they've taken us off the gold standard with Nixon in 1971. And because we are now not on any type of a gold standard, we are on a fiat-based money system, not even the United States, the world. The entire world now, now except for actually for Russia, because they have now actually have rubles attached to gold, and they're the ones that are in, in what's about to come. I believe they're the only ones that are going to weather the storm that's that's coming, that's on the very near horizon here. But all other world currencies now are paper-backed, they're fiat, attached nothing to gold, and as a result, they've been able to take this money system and print it and print it and print it, and what have they done with it, Greg? They've been slaving and they've been buying everybody. So the entire world we know today is captured. So that's why no one man can come in, like we can see a 45 come in and like, wow, let's drain the swamp. The problem is it's the swamp's not only in Washington, it's a worldwide swamp. Everything's captured and how do they do it? With the money. And so now the money system now been lent out to the world and all governments and nations all are basing everything they do on a fraudulent money system. Well, what did you say, Greg, about fraud? How does it end? <laughs> As a reporter for uh, five TV stations and two networks, and did a lot of money crimes, a lot of fraud. Frauds end quickly. Nobody comes out and blows a bugle and says, do 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 get ready now. No, boom, Bernie Madoff, right? Bernie Madoff came home one weekend from that, was arrested, and died in prison. So now you can compare that exact analogy you use, Greg, to no different that's written in the Bible, okay? Because things that have happened and are happening in the future, because God's a God of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. It's the same God, the God that's made the covenant with the founding fathers. He's the same God who's talking to the prophets right now. And he's the same God that was with Moses. He's the same God that was at the time of Noah. He's the same God at creation. So the point is, we are living in a world where we not battle not against flesh and blood, but principalities of darkness. Now, principalities are nothing more than governments working for Satan. Just call it as it is. They're governments that work you can use the word evil, but let's actually be clear about that. They're working for the fallen one. But the biggest piece of revelation I received here in December was specifically a timeline looking into the future. It relates to the current presidency. And so the current presidency, we'll talk about that, but that's about to come to an end. If we don't have a biblical intervention, 
I'm going to repeat this clearly. If we, the world, do not have a biblical intervention, I literally mean the hand of God coming down on earth that happened as an example would be the Red Sea. Moses didn't part the Red Sea. God did, right? The point is, if we don't have something like that happen where the Red Sea parts by the hand of God and then closes on the evil ones of this world, if we don't have that, the next step would be no different than happened with Nazi Germany in the concentration camps. I want to have the viewers understand November was a very important time point because what happened in November, gold bottomed with Bitcoin. Ah. So this is really important what happened. So November was the turn for all commodities. And so now that takes us into January. So we've talked about November being the turn, but now we've got to talk about January. So in a week from now is two years of the jackal being in office. Two days later is when Roe v. Wade became law on January 22nd. So there's your Jubilee. What does Leviticus say? Thou shalt consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants. I do find it fascinating. What do you think is going to happen that day? Click the link below to listen to this one-hour interview in its entirety. God bless.